Did you know about digital technologies? Will you yes, explain? Yes, yes, a little bit. Uh, okay. Uh, let uh, me explain you the term technology. Okay. First, you tell me uh, what is technology? What do you think technology is all about? It about technology. Mm. Okay. You can uh, explain anything. The first term came in your mind in uh, by listening the word technology. I mean, the technology create mobile PCs about apps and okay, thing. yes, good. And what uh, is digital technology? Then technology is something the like innovation, like mobile camera, anything you can store. This will be like apps, app okay. to create apps, Google okay. search. Okay. File. And uh, uh, to create games so again. Okay. And at first, I'll tell you the word digital came from binary. Okay. When we store data in binary, it is known as digital. Oh, okay. And uh, then digital technologies uh, make it a binary form of data storage. Okay. okay. So understand and uh, the evaluation of computing and technology. And the, the topic one is explain the recent technology advance, uh, advance in computing. And the purpose is digital technology assists in developing ability that will require student professional performance, such as problem solving, thinking structure, creation, and the process of comprehension. So the purpose uh, of teaching you this subject is to make you understand and think about innovation in the technology. What is the innovation in technology? The word innovation stands for, Abdullah, what is innovation in technology? Innovation. What is innovation? Innovation. Innovation. That I don't know. You don't know? Okay. Innovation no. is uh, like creating something new. If you have a phone of uh, like uh, we talk about like iPhone 13 Max Pro. Yes. It so is. when we uh, uh, came innovation in it, it became uh, iPhone 14 Max. Uh, that is recently launched. You have heard about that? That is ad uh, innovation in technology. Is it clear to you? Yes, miss. Okay. So give me an example of innovation in computers. Innovation, we have created a monitor, keyboard, mm -hmm. and. Good. Yes, mouse. Mouse. Printer. Uh, okay. Uh, we stuck to the mouse. The, when uh, at first the mouse has been came, they came with wire which we attached to the laptop and uh, other devices. But now it, it came in Bluetooth system for which we didn't need any wire to connect it with the computer. Is it right or not? Right, right. Right. Okay. Give me the example of keyboard. Keyboard? Yes. Uh, we, we can type with key keyboard and mm -hmm. write a paragraph or a story. Okay. Is what is innovation in keyboard? Did you saw uh, a gaming keyboard like uh, uh, with blue and LED light, blue, red and green? Don't yes, you think yes. you, that is innovation in it? Because at first when we use keyboard, that is without light and that is just in black in color. That is not attractive at, uh, at all. But now it came with LED lights, Bluetooth system, uh, with which you didn't need any wire to connect it with your laptop or computer screen. You just need a Bluetooth system to connect it with your monitor. Is it so? Yes, yes. 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 Okay. Uh, okay. What will you learn from this course? What do you think? What is this course is all about? I think it's about uh, uh, system information mm. and uh, Okay, solving things. Okay, and next, what oh, what do you think? Uh, don't see the slide. Uh, just tell me what you will think after learning this score. You should be able to do that because it is all about the theory and uh, your critical thinking. 
after learning this um, i will able to use uh, uh, create digital system and uh, mm -hmm. uh, be able to um, uh, fast wor working okay that's great okay you will learn from this course is digital system data and information gathering how we collect data and how they came uh, became information and okay. you stored that data from uh, future use okay okay at first we talk about the uh, innovation so uh, the technology came uh, in 1980s and in 1960s so before technology came in our life how we spend our life without technology what do you think without technology how people live without technology uh, they used to work hard and take more time yes they have to work hard and they don't have phone to share information with each other and and uh, they cannot send messages to their uh, uh, distant cousins and okay brothers. their distant other brothers and cousins uh, what do you think uh, if you have the right to change something in digital technology what you will change uh, if you want to create something for the people which make their life easier what will you do uh, I will do for eighth edition for small kids. They play a lot of games. Okay, so uh, there is a term known as digital transformation. At first, the people uh, make the strategy to uh, make any innovation. At first, they uh, they have to know about the problem which they have you know, they are being facing in their lives. After that they discuss it with the people around them and make a theory so that they can solve the problem after that the process and innovation came that so the process and innovation it means people work on it and find the problem and then the write the solution about that and use the technology and after using the technology they make something like applications that we have facebook whatsapp and uh, Google, they, these are all the ex ex applications which they have been drawn after the problem which has which they have found in their uh, society. After that is data and analytics. When the application has been launched, they uh, the data and the analytics, the data and the analytics has been analyzed. So there are five components which is important in innovation and di digital transformation. Okay. 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 First explain me uh, what is data? Did you know the difference between the data and the information? Uh, data we use like uh, network data and uh, inform, uh, we can store information. Mm -hmm. Good. And okay. Data is raw facts and figures which we collect from the society or the surrounding. Okay, information is processed data on which we already work. We have sorted our down according to our needs. Okay, I'll give you the example of data and information. When we talk about the school, there is 300 students learning in that school. That is data, okay? That is raw. Okay. We don't know how many okay. girls in that, how many boys in that, in which class, how many students are learning. So that is data. If we sort that data out, we uh, have to know that how many students are learning in each class. There are 10 classes and in each class, only 30 students are learning. So according to that, the process data is known as information. That become information for you is it easier okay. become easier for you to understand that you know, how many students are learning in which class okay okay yes. okay evaluation in computing and technology in 1978 the first industrial revolution came okay the first okay. machine the first machine has been designed 
to solve the problem of the company. And the second industrial revolution came in 1970, where the electric city has been produced and the mass production uh, used electric city for their industrial production. In 1969, the third industrial revolution, the age of computer and the electronics, this led to automation. When the machine came in the life of industries where they can solve the problems of the people and the human resource work became lesser. And the fourth industrial revolution came at the age of present, okay. which is working in present. Mm. What are you saying, Abdullah? No, 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 no. Okay. Did you know about artificial intelligence? Did you hear yes, that? I, yes, yes, I heard about that. Okay. What is this? Uh, AI is uh, 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 human information, I think. No, uh, it is artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it, like it's a robot and... Uh, uh -huh. Okay, that, that is right. Artificial uh, intelligence is robot and machinery and automatic cars, phones. These all came in artificial intelligence. What is IoT? Information of things. Information of things. So we came back, back to the digital technology. De digital technologies enables immense amount of information to be compressed on small storage device that can be easily preserved and transported. When we talk about the digital technologies, the large amount of information has been compressed into small amount of storage devices. Can you give me the example of this? Which example? Example of digital device in which larger amount of data has been stored on, in small storage device. Why you know PC? that? Um, okay, file and PC is uh, the right one. And the, and the okay. supercomputer. I think the biggest example is uh, mobile phone. Don't you think so? In our mobile phone, we store different type of images, phone numbers, contacts, applications the data of application has been stored in our phones how we store larger amount of data in small storage device i was uh, telling you that the phone is the biggest example of that don't you think so yes yes okay in our phones we can store larger amount of data like context number images application data application information that is stored in a smaller device and that is evolution in computer okay. if we go back in uh, last 20 years we have the devices with two which came with two uh, gb of ram and three gb of ram but now it came with 64 uh, gb and say 128 gb ram so we can store larger amount of data on that devices okay 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 what is technology? What is technology? Technology allows us to keep working, communicating, going to school, shopping, going to doctors, therapy appointment, playing games, and staying aware of current events. Allow us to automate yes. our tasks, set up reminders, uh, our task. set up reminders, gather receipts, and much yes. more. Okay. Now, uh, this question is for you. You have to, uh, five minutes to write five advantages of technology. Write it in a precise way. Don't go for the uh, larger paragraph just in two or three words. You just have to explain five points in two okay. or three words. Okay. Have you done? Yes. Okay. Tell me what you have written. Uh, yeah, technology advanced in education. Number one, mm. number two, technology has advanced in medical and health. Mm. Okay. And uh, uh, number three, uh, technology has advanced in agriculture. Okay. Also. And number four, uh, technology has advanced uh, in uh, communication. Okay. And uh, number five, uh, technology has advanced in uh, business. 
business okay uh, can you please uh, define the term communication what is communication uh, communication um, uh, yes in technology yeah. what is communication uh, uh, to call your brother from, from one phone to other to okay. satellite okay that is uh, uh, communicating yes okay when we uh, when we share information with each other through an electronic device is communication in simple word when two people communicate with each other to share some information okay that is communication okay. when two people communicate with each other to share some information that is communication okay done done okay, okay. My next question to you is why are digital technologies important to students today? What do you think why technology is important for students? We can say notes about uh, subject uh, mm -hmm. chapters and okay. uh, they can learn in Wikipedia for uh, so, and this. Okay. Uh, okay. You are right. Uh, the biggest example is in front of you that is distinct learning we are learning through a software in which i am teaching to you through the mean of internet okay that is distinct learning okay yes okay how digital technologies can be used in education the effective use of digital learning tool in classroom can increase student engagement help teacher to improve their lesson plans and facilitate personalized learning it also helps student to build essential for 21st century skills that is digital uh, technology through computer we can learn we can share our information we can learn from uh, far areas where now, there is no availability of teacher or any institution so teacher can teach their students through the mean of internet but just the student have to uh, have the mobile and internet connection to communicate with the teacher okay 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 the advantage advantages of technology is easier faster and more effective communication if we go back in decades it will be very difficult for the people to communicate in far areas they just have to uh, send them the uh, tech uh, punch send machine letter. no 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 that was punch machine through which they send their messages to uh, uh, their families if they have facing any problem so uh, through punch machine they send a message if they are facing any emergency okay, okay. Yeah. punch machine was used in uh, at first to share the information that was the technology that was using at that time after that when the computer uh, came in our life so uh, the mean of communication become radio we came to radio uh, signals through which we convey our information or data through radio signal to other uh, areas so people can get our messages that was telephone radio and after that the television came in our life in which we can uh, saw the people that was in uh, at first that was in black and white color so the people get entertained they, themselves by watching them on television but at that time radio signals were used after that wireless came in our life so the, the technology advancement become more enhanced and uh, we use uh, become uh, now we are using uh, it, like Wi-Fi, telephones, internet, 3G and 4G services came in that. Okay. okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, technology benefits in society. What benefits. do you think in uh, society technology become more beneficial for them? Um, they can share information about what happened. Mm hmm. And next, and and, uh, you know, so it, and they can have uh, electricity in homes. At homes, okay. And uh, for construction, they can use heavy machinery like cranes. And uh, digital technologies are used to map digital uh, maps like three D mapping. Okay. 
Okay. Did you heard about that 3D mapping? Yes, yes. Okay. Did you play games? Sometime. Impact of technology on human lives. Some are some technology are good in impact in human life and some mm -hmm. are bad. But also, there are some disadvantages in human mm -hmm. like playing too much games. Okay. And, uh, that will affect their eyesight as well, their mental health. Yes. That and is. Use, yes. Next. And they use money on games also. Okay. Uh, let me tell you the impact of technology uh, in human life. Digital technology has advanced more rapidly than any innovation in our history, reaching around 50% of the developing world population in only two decades and transforming the society by enhancing connectivity, financial inclusion, access of trade and public services. Technology can be a great equalizer. Okay. Through technology, people can easily communicate with each other. They can solve uh, problems. But uh, on the other hand, that is more harmful for them as well because it will affect their eyesight mental health and they create a lot of issues in the society okay okay and how technology affect the life of today's generation, mm -hmm. this generation. yes your yeah, generation this... yeah uh, there were a lot of uh, this season was a lot of youtube instagram they use and snapchat things like this they use in this generation Hmm. How it is harmful for you? A lot uh, of information is harmful for anybody. Yes. Modern uh, technology they... has paved the way of multifunctional devices like smartwatches and telephones. Computers are increasingly faster, more portable, and highly powered than ever before. With all these revolution, technology has also made our life easier, faster, better, and more fun but they affect today's generations yes what is the difference between the technology and the digital technology uh the, the technology is like a car mm -hmm. and a, a train a plane and digital oh. is like a binary data mm -hmm. like apps and uh, like apps mobile all the data stored in uh, computer in form of digital oh. these are digital technologies these are digital technology okay uh, which things are included in digital technologies mm -hmm. digital technologies ah. are electronic tools system devices and resources that generate stored and process data I've told you about the data and information at uh, our second slide. Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, that is the thing. Uh, Well-known example include social media, online games, multimedia, mobile phones, digital learning is any type of learning that uses technology. It can also happen across all curriculum learning areas. Yes. So you gave me the example of data and information in general mm -hmm. terms like that i have explained to you like uh, in the example of school give me any other example of data and information that must be exist from the real world data, mm -hmm. uh, data is a raw figure mm -hmm. as a figure Information is to, to give me the example, data. don't give me the definition. I know the definitions. Give me the example, like uh, just uh, uh, I told you that the uh, school uh, students, number of students in the yes, school, yes. there yeah, was the uh, school. data. Yes, the most school in the school, there were three of the students that is data. And this example is given by me. You give your own example, my own. Hmm. Data can be used on work also. How? Uh, to uh, to 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 store about uh, things. Give me the example, Abdullah. You are giving me the definitions. I know the definition. 
ओके आई एम गिविंग यू एन अदर एग्जाम्पल आफ्टर दैट यू विल गिव द एग्जाम्पल ओके 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 इन विच एरिया यू आर लिविंग लाइक यू आर लिविंग इन होम और फ्लैट दैट इज अ होम और फ्लैट इन विच यू आर लिविंग like that is a building uh, with a to four uh, floors or of a home with yeah, it's single a building store. it's a it's building. a building it's a building with how many floors uh, i think what uh, three three floors okay uh, how many families are living in that building i think so um, right now it there uh, 20 or 15 family are 22 or 15 families okay yes. in um, one floor how many families are living like five five average five families okay yes that uh, that to given to me is information okay, okay. at first uh, you told me that you live in the flat yes okay that flat is a data the number of families living in that flat or each floor is information which you have given to me okay did you understand that yes yes okay now you give me the example in in office hmm there are in office there are um, uh, workers okay there are lot of worker hmm. uh, we have to take the information hmm uh, how how we, how the which work are they are doing okay what are they what are, what are they doing in this on? what is data and what is information that is Just differentiate uh, between it data is where the uh, is office where are there are workers mm. and what is workers. information information that we are checking how much work are they are doing in their job okay okay and uh, their much, names our ages uh, uh, qualifications yes. Yes. and the department in which they are working that is information okay and how hours are they are working okay okay in industry can you uh, tell me what is information and what is data in industry hmm uh industry they can i think that uh, there is a mechanic shop hmm yes there is a mechanical there, department there is not there is a, a shop but there is a mechanical department mm -hmm. and uh, uh information is they they repair cars or truck. how many cars repair uh, per day what will be the cost of their uh, repairing a car i and think that will be mm -hmm. uh 400 or 1000 okay the number the figures are information basically okay. which you have been gathering from the industry okay okay yes okay so the evaluation in industry through technology is the first one is mechanical at first by hand people solve their problems and uh, use mechanical equipment uh, to work and uh, to uh, prepare the cars after that the electrical mass production came in 1870 when electricity has been produced in these electricity has been used to develop the cars designing development uh, and then automated production uses internet through internet people uh, connect to each other they can uh, change information and in industry they can uh, use designs and they can share their designs with other people so that they can sell uh, they can increase their sales to store that information digital uh, automation complex tasks has been used the information has been stored in digital form which is used today okay, okay. okay. and uh, digital technology is used in artificial intelligence yes okay okay so what is artificial intelligence now you will tell me what is artificial intelligence with a clear definition mm -hmm. uh, uh, artificial intelligence you have told me before uh, it yes yeah it's a uh, it's a robot mm -hmm. and uh, yes uh, they can uh, let our work easy okay and fast uh, efficiently efficient 
and and, uh, and uh, uh, we've been creating also more uh, artificial intelligence nowadays uh, okay and how mm -hmm. you are telling the yeah. right thing uh, artificial intelligence is not complete today right now they are creating some okay we okay, write down the definition of uh, artificial intelligence that will help you in future okay development of computer system able to perform tasks normally requiring human intelligence such as visual prescription voice recognition decision Next. making and translation between languages then then okay uh, tell me have you used any type of software in which uh, translation of languages translation of languages mm -hmm. uh, i use a uh, app in mobile okay uh, uh, something... artificial intelligence is a simulation of human intelligence processes by machine especially computer system specific application of artificial intelligence include expert system natural languages processes speech recognition and machine vision okay 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 uh, will you read the question yeah uh, uh, in education through techno uh, digital technology okay you have to write how uh, the technology advancement revolve in education okay how can you write yes sir. okay take two minutes just explain in points don't go for the larger paragraph done atula yes i have done Okay, tell me what you have written. Uh, the, the impact of uh, digital era is teaching and learning rapidly become one of the most important mm. uh, widely decision. You just have to tell me the revolution in education through digital technology. At first, when your parents were learning how they learn, now uh, days you are learning uh, how you are using the technology to learn. You have to write these things. Okay. Don't go for the paragraph. You just have to write the technology uh, with the decades. Like okay. when uh, your grandparents were learning uh, how they learn, which technologies they are using to learn. Okay. okay? Yes. My question is clear to you? Yes. Yes. Okay. Done? Yes. Yes. Okay. At uh, grandpa's and mother time, they used to write on uh, small blackboard or, or copies. Now, in mm -hmm. our time, we can write on uh, the distant file or in uh, uh, laptop or Microsoft file. Okay. That is good. Mm -hmm. That is well defined now. Okay. In today's lecture, we define different uh, terms. Uh, you have to repeat all these terms one by one. Start from the first. Data and information. Yes, repeat it. Data and information, mm -hmm. AI, IoT. Okay, you have to ex uh, you have to uh, recall all the definitions as well. Okay. What is data? What is information? What I have told you? What were the, uh, the examples of uh, data and information? Artificial intelligence. Uh, data is raw, fat, and figure. Yes. Information is a process data. Hmm. Uh, like uh, 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 we live in a building. Yes. That is data. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, how much, how much rooms are there in the building is information. Yes. In floors, how much floor are there? That is information. Okay, that is good. And AI, AI is a art. Uh, uh, is a artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence. Yes. Okay. Uh, the development of computer system uh, able to uh, perform mm -hmm. tasks normally from a human in such as visual design, mm -hmm. voice recognition, decision mm -hmm. making, and uh, translation into language. Okay. Okay. An example are like um, robot mobiles things. Okay. And IOT is information of things. Okay, that is information of things, and that is your assignment. You have to write the definition and example of IOT. Okay. 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 Next. Okay. Benefit of technology. Mm -hmm. uh, benefit of technology. They uh, 
they help us to work uh, easily and fast mm -hmm. and uh, uh, they can we can send messages and uh, uh, do our work easily yes effect of technology in society uh, we can use a machine to co construct the building mm -hmm. and uh, electricity in the building yes and yeah and uh, uh, use this car in society okay that is good okay. technology in education is uh, we are learning to put a mobile for in uh, for education like yes uh, zoom pdf files and yes. uh, and uh, microsoft world things okay yes. i have given you one example that was real time example which i have given to you that was distinct learning distinct learning uh, explain okay. the distinct learning distinct learning yes i have told uh, you uh, yes uh, like you are very far away teaching me yes in, through a computer or a mobile okay that is good and next at uh, technology in industrial area yes like um, medical uh, digital uh, magnetic, magnetic, mechanical and uh, mechanical digital okay. yes uh, uh, like, when there then, was uh, Okay, when there was uh, a digital uh, came, yes, uh, we have two technologies came in between. What was that? Yes, that was an uh, electric. Yes, good. And uh, a digital technology. And, and uh, there is uh, one more between the electrical and the digital. Uh, that was, uh, mm, I think. Internet. Hmm. Internet is internet. Yes, that was internet. First, the that was uh, mechanical when there was no technology. After that, mm -hmm. the electrical came when electricity was built, and then okay. inter uh, internet has been introduced. And now, a, a days, digital technologies are using in yes. industrial area to store larger amount of data. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, differentiate between the digital and the uh, simple technology. The term simple technology and digital uh, uh, technology we can use car mm -hmm. uh, we can use plane and do work uh, digital we can uh, define into binary uh, binary numbers in digital computer data like this it is yes okay good do you have any question regarding today's lecture no miss okay i have we learned one more term that was digital transformation. Yes, yes. Yes? Okay. Yes. Uh, we talked about the evaluation process. What is yes. evaluation? How evaluation process begins? Evaluation process begins? Yes. Mm -hmm. I've told you, at first we have to find out the problem. Yes. We then, have to find a problem and then solve it. Solve it? And then yes. how we will we're going to solve the problem? Like uh, like uh, before, we don't have, have to WhatsApp. Now we have WhatsApp to send our uh, family a message and letters. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, we don't have any to do calls. Now we can do calls. Okay, In, that is good. Yes. And uh, but, you can also work with uh, okay, online. Okay, you are giving me the journal example or real time example. I am talking about the process that is uh, that you have been seeing uh, on the slide that is digital business strategy or culture. At first, yes. you have to find out the problem and then yes. discuss it with your family and relatives. You are going to uh, do a survey on that and then they will give you the suggestion to do this or that and then you will yes. write the whole process and innovation yes, yes. then you will use a technology like uh, uh, you will code the pro uh, problem or uh, you will use mechanical tools to uh, develop the uh, thing to help uh, the society and then 
after the technology has been introduced the data and analytics means you are going to ask the people is your problem are being solved or not is that so okay. yes yes now you are going to give me the journal example how you are going to solve the problem of the people by these five steps in digital transformation so solve the problem mm -hmm. uh, by asking a person mm -hmm. and then uh, then making it and the uh, ask them it's solved or not okay uh, you have to find a problem in your building yes okay in okay. which you are living uh, you have uh, you said that uh, in uh, you have uh, three floors in a building and five families living in one floor yes uh, so uh, you will uh, face in some problems like uh, there will be a one left in the building which a lot of yes. people are using is that so or you have yes. three to four uh, lifts in your buildings yes yes how many lifts are uh, have there in your building or there is no lift i think my building is full no no i am talking about the lift lift mm -hmm. there is one only one yes one will you face problem while using the lift because a lot of people will use that or uh, you use the stairs no i use stair uh, sometimes i use lift sometimes i use stair okay um, because a lot of the time the lift is uh, will be full and you have to wait for it so you will prefer to use the stair uh, while using the lift is that so yes yes is it so what is the problem in your building that you have only one lift in your building so in case of any emergency when you have to use the lift that is not available so you will ask your uh, neighbors that with, you have to complain for the other lift that you need an other lift in your building is that the problem is uh, this the problem okay. abdullah that uh, you have to ask the people to uh, for an other lift in the building not now not now yes okay okay uh, let me explain there is one lift in your building okay yes. a lot of people are using that lift yes yes okay yes. now you need an other lift in your building okay to make it easier for other to use that yes okay now what will you do you will go to your neighbor or your landlord and will ask him to uh, build an other lift in your building yes that that is the second process staff and customer engagement that you will go to your landlord and ask him to build an other lift in your building so yes. he will think about it yes. he will ask the labor to work in the building that is process and innovation labor will work in your building to build a lift they will use the technology yes yes technology will be involved in this process and after that when the lift has been uh, developed in your building you will analyze a lot of people will become uh, feel easier to use that because there is two lift uh, which people are using to go up and down yes yes is it so na yes yes okay now you are going to give me one example like that which i have given to you okay that is only one uh, problem now there will be another as well uh, in family we have one car that okay. is a problem mm -hmm. okay uh, we, we i will talk to the parents that uh, gives me uh, to, to buy another car that we can use two cars okay that is that good can... and then you came to the staff and customer engagement yes. and now how then will you I go can... to the process and innovation process uh, i will go to the company and see how much uh, the price they are giving on car mm -hmm. and uh, which is a uh, which is a good car for me and my family okay uh, and what is the technology in it when that you will go not... to see the cars you will uh, watch na uh, which technology will suits you Yes, uh, if you need see, five seater we'll... car, seven seater yes, car, or seater, two seater car, seat or what will yes. be the data analysis in it? 
to check how much is it to have perf- it's a good performance or not or uh, are is it good performing or not yes okay now coming back to this slide what did you learn from this course student acquire a deep knowledge and understanding of digital system data and information and the process associated with creating a digital solutions so the way uh-huh. uh, i teach you that was knowledge and understanding of digital system okay i told you what is the knowledge and understanding in digital systems what is the okay. data and the information and the processes associated for creating the digital solutions so okay. the, in the fourth slide you told me the digital solution of your problem was that yes. so yes yes so in this course we will learn how data and information works and process associated with creating digital solutions yes okay yes uh, we, we have done this mechanical electronic yes. in, internet and digital evaluation and yes. education uh, revolution in uh, digital technology you told me yes and now uh, the last one is data and information uh, which you have already told me and given the examples artificial intelligence or yes. benefits of uh, technology uh, what yes. was the side effect of the technology we missed one point why technology right. is harmful for the society uh, they are the half of technology uh, kids are playing too much games mm. and uh, Uh, and their eyes are getting weak because yes. of that that yes. is good yes and uh, how can we uh, overcome uh, this problem how did you think uh, how can we overcome this problem that uh, student didn't use a lot of phone because nowadays this is become essential for the student to use the technology for their lectures class and the pandemic situation uh to use time by time we will uh, schedule the time for them mm-hmm. to use how much hour they use the mobile oh, yes and and how much they should play the time how much hour play how much hour in learning that is good technology in education we have already discussed technology in industrial area technology and digital technology yes okay okay internet of things definition of iot is internet of things describe the network of physical objects things that are embedded with sensors software and other technologies for the purpose of connecting and exchanging data with other devices and the system over the internet okay. the devices okay. used internet of things are refrigerators appliances lights okay. that all can be connected together you have to give me one example of iot i can connect a mobile with internet mhm and laptop and the sensor the uh, sensor they are in cars okay yes uh, you can use uh, you will connect the mobile with the car yes no 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 with <laughs> wifi with wifi through internet na yes yes because and internet create the network yes okay and the uh, the assignment for you will be you have to give me example of real time example of iot write down the assignment you have to give me the real time example of iot okay miss any question no no miss write a question write down the real time example of information in digital technology okay did you know about the programming languages yes yes like a uh, code block and yes uh, yes like a code block we have to use uh, with include uh, studio and things okay uh, did you heard okay. about the uh, c++ language or python html yeah, c++. or css yes yeah, c++ i have heard. Uh, just give okay. me the brief introduction of c++ what is c++ language in which software you used it code mm, block for mm? for finding um, numbers and uh, 
things. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, did you know that uh, what website uh, is made of? Which language is used in website development? No, that I don't know. Don't know? No. No? Okay. CSS and HTML, Python, and different languages is used in web development. Uh, where the uh, data of uh, websites have been stored? We are yes, learning yes. digital technologies. Now we uh, learned that uh, storing large amount of data on smaller uh, mediums. So where okay. is the data of website has been stored? Did you know that? The website was stored in files? No. Uh, there is the medium, na? like uh, storing a large amount of data on phone. We used RAM. Yes, RAM, ROM. But for storing the website data, which uh, device is used? Uh, write the question. Okay. You have to find it through internet. Where the data of website has been stored. Kadan? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So uh, in digital uh, technologies, the word digital is binary of a uh, series of binary numbers like zeros and one. Yes. Binary number yes. only involves uh, zeros and ones, or it will include two or three number as well. No, no, zero and one. Only zero and ones. Yes. But why? Uh, it is a computer language, I think. So. Yes, you were right. Yeah, through binary totally. number, through binary number, it will become easier for us to make the decision because only two numbers in it. The one will uh, one represents the on and on. The zero off. zero will represent off. off okay good and developing much more iterative and rapid way for doing things thinking okay. in this way why should be limited to just a handful of function the example of digitals are okay. give me the example of digital technology uh, for digital technology are uh, mobile Mm -hmm. And the ro robot. Okay. Uh, we store data in mobile and laptop. Online games. Online games. And, and uh, 